Welcome back everyone. So let's have a brief about what about service application connection, which named as a proxy that we defined in our last session. As we discussed the proxy, just like a link between web application and service application. As well, service application are associated with all farm web application by default. And the last part here, service application proxy and web application association are managed on a per case basis. We will see two diagram to discuss more about that one later on. But before that, we need as well to know each service application going to be associated with application pool. So we're going to say from Microsoft service application require an application pool to function. As well, application pool use a service account. As we discussed, you need to create a service account for application pool to access this application pool resources and database. So service application, we can conclude, can share an application pool or use a unique application pool only for itself. Let's move on and discuss about single service application proxy group and multiply service application proxy group. First of all, we can say here is that we have three web applications. The first one, second one, and third one. And all of them, all of them shared or use a single proxy group. And this single proxy group have all the service application as you. And before we move on, as we can see, this web application use a unique application pool but for both application pool you can use or share application pool okay we know about that but let's move here to discuss another architecture maybe you will have a business scenario to share two proxy group not application pool in that case you will have here your proxy group that contains some service application and this service application is being shared with two application web application it's all right but the new thing here maybe you will have another proxy group that have or contain unique service application only for this proxy group and in meantime this proxy group sharing with you with some of your service application not all of them so in that case the most important part i know it's a complex architecture but you need to maintain that one by documenting that architecture all right so let's move ahead before go dive more about the technical part we need here to discuss about creating a new managed service application all we have to do go here to application management and from that one go to manage service application after that, I will click new and I will choose managed metadata service application. It's going to take some time. So when you're going to create any service application, the first thing first, you need to provide a unique name for this managed metadata. And you need to follow as well the naming convention by providing the name of the service application itself. For example, here, manage the metadata. After that, you can provide your organization name, for example, Contoso. Okay, after that, here is that, let me, after that, you need to put the database server name. Okay, here is it mine. And the database name, which it will be associated with this service application. As we agreed, each service application will have a database, maybe single one, maybe more than one so one too many okay in that case database name as well i need to maintain the naming convention so i will say manage the metadata contesto and you can provide any other meaningful name in that case as well about authentication part you need to um, choose between windows authentication this one is mostly recommended or you if you choose sql authentication you need to provide the username and the password I will go with Windows Authentication. After that, you need to specify the failover database server name. And the last part here is to specify the application pool if you're going to use a unique application pool for your service application. 
or you're gonna use existing application pool and and you will share this one with other service application it's your choice according to business requirement and i will provide here the application pool name it will be managed metadata app pool and you need to specify the service account which it will be responsible for this application pool and the last part here you need to specify the content type hub from that one you can create other content type and we will discuss about this one later on in the manage the metadata service module after that all you need to do is to click ok after this one is created successfully here is that you can find managed metadata service has been created successfully and you're gonna find the connection for this one okay i will open manage the metadata service from here and you can find this interface for manage the metadata service but what's the mean of term store manage the metadata is about a container for all the terms that it will be used inside your organization so we need we name it as term store and if you would like to create a hierarchy inside your organization to be used in the search or in the navigation or anything like that you need to create a term store and if you would like to create it all you have to do is come here to manage the metadata service and click on manage the metadata service and add yourself to be a term store administrator from here i will say administrator and i will click on this one after that i will click save all right so right now i am the administrator of this service manage the metadata okay after that you can find this arrow gonna appear for you after you add your account here you can find this arrow if you click on this arrow you can find a new group so i would like to say departments okay this will be uh, the first group here is the name department you can provide a description for this one i will name it organization different department okay you can as well add you know some managers for that as well you can add your team as a contributors so in the future they can add more terms to this group after that you can start by adding the first let me click okay okay yeah you can add the first term set by click on this arrow you will find another menu called it a new term set so my first term set i will say information technology the first term set here is the name of that one and i can add as well hr department after that you can add you know two more finance and the last group we will add marketing all right and etc you can add you know as much as you can this is basically the first option to add you know one by one using this methodology by by clicking here new term set but there is you know i have like 100 term set in my excel sheet so i'm gonna add all of that one by one no you have here an option called it import term set and if you click that one sharepoint accept from you the file it should be on comma separated file you need you know to convert your data source whatever it's sql whatever it's excel whatever to it it's about any format to be csv file and after you convert your data source to that file type you can browse it and within you know single minute you will have here all your term set in a single shot not only about that maybe there wish inside the information technology i have some subcategory so choose information technology and click on this arrow you can find you can create a term inside this one by click on that one i will say for example sharepoint team 
okay uh, as well i can create another one security or we can say cyber security team and definitely ccb oracle team okay and as well you know as as long as you have more teams you can add the term is here so inside sharepoint team as well you can create another term yeah for example you will say production team and you're gonna say development team okay so that's basically about manage the meta data how can you gonna deal with that that's very easy i think and after you complete everything you can start using this one by creating a content type or use this manage the metadata in the search service or even use it in a navigation because a lot of portals nowadays in the SharePoint using manage the metadata as a navigation tool. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session.